Whoa, we're Whoa. back at it again. It's Greg and John. John is his name, Greg is my name. It is. Our parents' names are different. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe today and become a reject. Get that out of the way. Why wait till the end of the video? Resident Damn. Evil, the final chapter. Um, sure. No, new, <laughs> new blood comes after this. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Jason. Fine. Okay, so Resident Evil, the final chapter. I haven't seen a Resident Evil movie since part three. Yeah, uh, we saw it together. We Universal did. City Walk. Yeah. It's kind of a cool movie. 2007. I really lost interest in keeping up with these films. <laughs> <laughs> they don't hook me, and it's, they're not close enough to the video games to really intrigue me. <laughs> so. This is the franchise that comes out like in the background of my life. Where yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, there's another they're one. They're still making them. There's still a fan base for these movies. Yeah, and, and I, I enjoyed the first movie, but but yeah, after that, I, I, I just... Oh. Paul W. S. Anderson, man, I don't know what you do. What's this weird? Because he makes these amazing things. films. Totally. He is consistent the time. with amazing work. Ever since. So it shocks me. Pompeii. There will be blood, um, the master, boogie nights. Inherent vice. Inherent no, oh, that was okay. I liked inherent vice. There's no Mortal Kombat. <laughs> no Mortal Kombat, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that right now. But yeah, I'm watching this because uh, there's there's so many requests to watch this. Clearly, I'm enthusiastic about it. Hey, maybe they'll finally incorporate some. And Mia Jovovich, Paul W. S. Anderson's wife, is an amazing actress too. Can be Fifth Element, last great role I remember heard of. <laughs> Got that Suicide Squad vibe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Feel the machinery. Like a vignette effect going on here. It's kind of cool. Ha! <laughs> Get out of Raccoon City, man. Oh, I'm so excited about this. you guys want us to say is badass badass looks like a shit ton of fun but i can i can't help but feel anytime i see a resident evil trailer the potential that has been missed out on with this whole franchise yeah hopefully this is the final chapter i thought like two movies ago it was the final chapter according to the trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what did they do they did apocalypse they did extinction apocalypse like every subtitle every is the world ending. <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm like is this it? is this gonna be the uh, next one's just gonna be a new book what i gotta say though is that whenever i watch the resident evil movies uh even though i've only seen the first three whenever actual zombies show up i think it's kind of cool like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just I'm just a fan of the zombie genre. I grew up on zombie flicks. So anytime there's a zombie, I'm like, oh cool, there's zombies in there. Or when they mix in like one of the creatures from the games. Or something. Like these movies follow a weird pattern where it seems like every other one they try to put a bunch of game shit in it. Because Apocalypse has like Nemesis and a whole bunch of other things. Or not Apocalypse, whatever the second one is. <laughs> the other A word. And so I'm curious about how they're, what they're gonna do here. Whether they're gonna have a bunch of zombie stuff or, you know, keep it. 
I doubt it. I, like, I really feel like zombies are the last thing on the Resident <laughs> Evil franchise. <line. laughs> like this is this is one of those properties where I'm like, I really love those games, and like, there's a lot to draw from. You don't have to go with the story, but there's a lot to draw from in terms of you know places and creatures and mythology, and they kind of do. There's something about the the timbre of these movies and the look and the feel that I just don't love. Like I kind of like Alice, and everything else just feels like a you know just kind of like a hollow B grade action movie that. I've seen done better. Yeah, I mean, this looks like it's inspired by any kind of end of the world chip. Yeah. It's Resident Evil Fury Road <laughs> or yeah, and Book of Eli. Like, it's got a lot of these similar touches in there, but I mean, what the franchise currently offers, they, they've given us a major sci fi picture. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what they've, they went, they steered away from zombie horror film into sci -fi action crazy sci-fi action story, yeah. which I guess works for its own job. Clearly there's a fan base for it. I, I, yeah. I don't know if the fan base is just Resident Evil game fans who keep hoping the movies will be good, <laughs> or if they're actually just like fans of the movie that really like these films. There are people who like the movies, and hey, I get you. Like, I do think Mila Jovovich is cool as Alice. Like, I'm always like... I wish they would just make a decision after a while, because sometimes when they try to put a bunch of game characters in, it doesn't really coalesce and the thing is like these movies aren't exactly for me so i'm not thrilled by this trailer like this trailer kind of says we're out of ideas to me because it's like we're going back to the red queen and the hive which were kind of barely As related to the game of us of the really love the movie yeah, the exactly. first one. like oh cool that laser guy this will save the franchise we're going out on a big bang <laughs> oh the little red girl from before i've been waiting to see her again you don't know john this might be the movie that goes back to the beginning kind of like dark knight rises and then you're like, oh wow, it's all tied in. This makes all I don't the movies want better. It to be all tied in. I want it all <laughs> to be tied in. No. I want it all to be intertwined, interconnected, and I hope we get spin-offs. Yeah, yeah, I hope that that happens. Carlos Oliveira movie, let's do it. The sad thing is the Resident Evil video game, the first one, is significantly shot better than any of these films. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, there's something, like, they keep giving Paul W.S. Anderson more and more money to make these, and every one I see, like, three is kind of cool, I guess, but every piece I see out of one of these just looks like it's more expensive and somehow shoddier. I remember playing the first game and, and just being very much admired by its visual style. Yeah. Like how there'd be one shot, you walk out of frame into the next shot, then to the next shot, and then so sometimes you walk into another shot, and a zombie would be there, and you'd be like, oh fuck! Well, that's the trouble, is like, especially when they remade the first game, and they remastered it for, for GameCube, and they upped the graphics and all that stuff. Like, they really made it cinematic, and I feel like that kind of hurts. If you're a fan of Resident Evil, that kind of hurts these movies, because you're like, I've seen this play out like a movie before. Yeah. And it's not this movie. Yeah, because it's like, they, it's kind of, it's typical visual styles. And, and yeah, like, there's nothing round. visually that looks that unique in terms of it, of its stylistic imagery. Granted, I can't put something like this together, but yeah, yeah, still, yeah. it's like from what I've seen studios that, pr the same studios that produced this It's film. just that washed out gray brown color palette. It looks like The Last Survivors. I know you guys probably haven't heard of that movie, but there's a movie called The Last Survivors. And it looks like this with trying to get a more of a budget to try to look like Mad Max Fury Road with some zombies in there and then some yeah. human villains. And then it's just all over the place. And then, yeah. and like their monster, uh, this could be a really good franchise. It could be. This could I, be like a great film franchise. Yeah. The only thing that gives me hope for this is there are a certain amount of people who do like Resident Evil 3, and that's the one that's all out in the desert in Vegas and stuff like that. And I feel like a return to the desert could be cool and just this this trailer feels like a trailer like it's 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 the ironic music and oh look at all this fucking action there well this, this, this these trailers were lies though <laughs> we've seen the resident evil movies they're never as cool they look as that. they look cool and fun in the trailers but then you watch them and they just they take themselves so seriously it's like they the people behind them think they're making like it's like the 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 first few fast and furious films <laughs> Just a little worse. <laughs> like, yeah, they, they like, think they're making great films, and then they realize, this is not that great. Yeah. Like, if they just embrace the cheese and the bad. Yeah, if they had a little actual fun There was some self-awareness of how, of like, cheesy this is, it could do better. And maybe, and maybe for some people, part of the charm is the lack of self-awareness. Like, there's just something about every Resident Evil movie I see just kind of feels like a bargain bin movie 
with some shiny effects on it and like the acting is always all over the place and the effects are kind of all over the well, place. The trailers the... show shiny effects, but then the movie t also tends to deliver some pretty bad effects at times too. Yeah, well, and you know, it's like I appreciate the ambition, but hey, like a lot of this movie looks like it's going to be outside in the desert under blistering sun and that's a hard place to do to hide like yeah. you can hide cg in shadows and work with your budget it's but... not all about ambition remember rudy he got shot before the game yeah that's what happened could have never played football straight out of the university of notre dame we already said subscribe i already said his name's john the reason is jerry facebook.com slash blue mouse facebook.com slash real rejects i don't like really promoting all these social network stuff it just is too much talking, and I get bored repeating the same thing over and over again. Shout out to Mia Jabba. And I hope her and Paul W.S. Anderson have beautiful kids. But don't lose that body. And don't get divorced, because didn't Peter Berg and, uh, and what's her name from the Underworld movies? Kate Beckinsale? Yeah, aren't they getting divorced now? Kate Beckinsale wasn't married to Peter Berg. Was she? Yeah. Yeah, like, there's a whole subsect sub of dudes no, making these, like, sci-fi horror Kate movies Beckinsale, for their wives. Kate Beckinsale was married to the guy who did Underworld. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who did Underworld, sorry. The, whoever the director is who did Underworld. Do you I know don't Peter Berg is? Peter Berg's done other action movies, right? He did, like, Hancock and The Rundown. And there you Kingdom go. Kingdom of Heaven. All right. God, you're an embarrassment on this channel. Okay, well, his... Uh, God, you're they're dirty. that same mode of like you know action. <laughs> Didn't he do who he? Bleh. He also had a he did total recall co-starring role in Collateral. Really, Peter Berg did. Yeah, that's who. I don't know one of the cops. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Good for him. Len Wiseman. There you go. Yeah, same name. I see. I got the Len Wiseman. Well, there Two is Jews. the same vein of direct.